Hey everyone, so it's been a little while since I made a tutorial. This one's just really quick. I'm going to show you how to make a bowl and a couple of other things. So simply just draw a circle on the ground, grab your pencil tool, draw a couple of lines here so you can make a box. Just on top of your circle like so. Give me a second to catch up with my own words. There we are. Okay, now you've done that, you want to go for um, the curve or the arc tool. Make a... Uh, Curvy shape. Yeah, not really sure what I'm doing here. Don't go to the edge. No, don't go to the edge. Um, just, just there. There we go. Okay, right. Just make a general outside of a bowl shape. Whatever you think's best. This is not accurate or anything. It's just really quick, just to show you. Okay, once you've made that. It's a bit funky. Go ahead and erase um, the outer side of the box. And that bit there. And that bit there. And as you can see, the circle's still in two pieces. Got that side, and we've got that side. So we want to go ahead and erase, erase the line in the middle, like that. So we're left with a pure circle. We select the outer edge. Click on Follow Me. And there you go. We have a bowl. If you like, you can um, get rid of the bottom circle there. And have a simple bowl shape. Now you can do whatever you like with this. I'm just going to quickly texture it here so you can get a better definition. There we are. Now you can do whatever you like with uh, the follow me tool with the circle base like that. Any shape you like. Um, I don't know. I'll just give you another example quickly. Here's our top down view, so we're looking at the right edge. Okay, back on the uh, circle. Okay, we'll do exactly the same thing as we did last time. Make a box. If you've noticed, you can just sort of tap the edge that you're wanting it to snap to, and it will give you an axis point. So we're just going to draw a couple of boxes, perhaps, like some stairs. There we are. Now erase the box. Continue erasing. Outer line, that line, select the edge, hit follow me, and then click on the shape. There we are. It's like a weird Colosseum thing. Yeah, if we just get rid of all of that, what we've done right there, and back, 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 back. There we are. Get some stairs out of the way. Now, like I said, you can do any shape you like, so I know we're going to play around a little bit with this and from the center point. Just go nuts. <laughs> yeah, like I say, you can do anything with the follow me tool um, and the circle base like this. Pretty much anything you like. Select the edge, follow me, then click on the shape you drew, and there you are. Although I will say for this, it's probably not suitable for flight sim because there's so much, um, well, there's so many polygons. I'm just gonna. I think we'll use a curve this time. A nice, a nice arc. I'm going to go with something stupid. Move it down here a little bit. And yeah. Number two, always erase the lines in the middle because you're not going to get much out of them, otherwise it'll only go halfway around. Follow me and click on the shape. Yeah, we've got another strange looking, it looks like a bottle top or a bottle of pills or something. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty cool. But yeah, there we go. Um, use the uh, follow me tool, a circle base. Um, you can even use the follow me tool to follow the edge or a contour of a building or anything like that. Um, yeah, well, whatever you need. Uh, remember to uh, comment and subscribe. And if you want any more tutorials, go ahead and ask.